usually when we come in Monday after um, our, our big monthly non-firm employment numbers, it's the first thing we talk about. We're barely talking about that, I think, for a couple of reasons. One, came in at expectations, but two, it's based off of data from early to mid-month. And a lot of things have happened since the week of February 12th, where they do the, the survey of this data, right, Alex? Yeah, absolutely. And I think what a lot of people, when, when they're thinking about jobs right now, they're thinking about those federal layoffs that are that are every other headline that you're seeing, uh, these kind of austerity-like measures that, that we're seeing come out of the, the federal government. And Really, the lead time, like you said, they're they're doing their survey mid month in February. Um, the new administration came in January twentieth, and yeah, they started they started cutting things fast and furious. But um, really, we're not going to see those job cuts really feed into the jobs numbers for at least until the next release or the release after that. And a lot of these people, that email that the Doge department sent out, you could choose to retain your position. I think it was through September or October. So so we could see a, a bleed of jobs from the federal workforce for many months to come. 